Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Today we have a very, very special guest, uh, Dr. Elsa Garcia from Ecuador. She went to med school at Ecuador and she has a very, very unique story. Very old YOG, very limited number of interviews, but matched at a top program, Rush University in Family Medicine. So let's hear from her. What were these challenges? How did you overcome it? So welcome, Elsa. Uh, very, very glad to have you. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Perwan, for having me and glad to share my story so that they can inspire another old IMG as me. I know it's really hard. So, so uh, yeah. I'm sorry. Uh, so let's first a bit of a background about yourself, you know, year of graduation, med school, uh, you know, those kind of things. Yeah, I'm a physician from Ecuador. I graduated in 1997. And uh, I did my family medicine residency in Chile in 2003. So I have 25 years of graduation from my med school. So I'm very old graduated. So I think that uh, because I matched this time, it was uh, uh, impressive for me. And I had only thank you words for you, <laughs> really. Oh, uh, this year, here I match in, med in family medicine in the Russian university. It, it was my second attempt because I applied the previous season and I didn't get match. So thank you to you. So now let's talk about your challenges. Obviously 25, 26 year YOD, you must have seen your ups and downs, mostly downs, right? Challenges. Yeah. So talk about some of those challenges and how you overcame. Yes. Well, um, I moved to the United States five years ago and I was working in Chile, working well in my hospital and my own um, practice. And when I moved here, my first challenge, it was the language. I didn't speak English, nothing. So when I moved here, um, I come because I get married. So that's why I moved here. My husband, he is American. And, um, uh, that was my first challenge. I had to, to learn to speak English. And at the same time, I was preparing for the steps. One at the, at that moment. Um, I have a fail in my step one because I didn't speak well. And when I passed my test, my score, it wasn't good. I passed with a very, very low score. So that was my first, uh, obstacle, right? And, um, because I came here when I was uh, really old, I was 48 years old when I came here. I didn't have any networking. I didn't know anything. Uh, even for recent graduates, all the match processes is difficult to understand, especially for people that is, 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 uh, never studied here, right? So the process is not easy to understand. So I was alone, not, that, not networking. My English wasn't good. I had one attempt. When I passed my test, it was low. So I prepared much better for the second test. Second test is easier for people that have experience like, and like us. And I, I have a good uh, score in the second test. And I decided to apply because I have the, like at uh, the box leaks that are uh, required. I have a step one, a step two, I was ECFMG certified and I apply, but with no guidance, with just applying and I failed my, in my first uh, application. Last season, I just got one interview, but I didn't match. So that's why I, in the second uh, season, I look for help. And I talk with many people in similar situation. And I start to watch the uh, interviews for all graduates. And I saw, I remember I saw one interview for one of your students. He was really well graduated and he motivated me. He like, uh, gave me, uh, hope again, because he was an old graduate. He was, uh, similar to me and, uh, he was working and he has a, a kids, family. He, it was the third, ap uh, application for him and he met. So when I saw him, uh, I, I say myself, okay, if he can do it in the third, uh, application, I can do it. Right. 
So I start to watch more uh, interview, motivational interview from you. And that's why I look for you, for your help. Because you can have all the all the requirements for applications, but the match processing is not only uh, documents. It's a complete strategy that you have to apply. And it's t the strategy is different for all the applicants. The strategy that works for one student, it doesn't work for me or for another student because the backgrounds are different, right? So um, that's why um, I look for your help. You guide me and the things that I need to be guided. And now I match. Yeah, thank you. So le let's do a bit of a deep dive in what changed in this last season. What you know, in terms of either our guidance, maybe or more USC, maybe something else. So how did you prepare for this entire season? Yeah, so the first things uh, when I when I joined to uh, Isabel Sarti, they, they told me, you must take the, the step three. Because our biggest strain as an old graduate is our experience. And a step three is about how you treat patients. So you have to take, is, step three is the must. Even though if your step one or step two is a good score, for all graduates, they expect that you have done the step three and hopefully with a good score. My step three, it was, I have a good score. So that helped me because it was mentioned in, in my interview. So that was the first guide. The second uh, thing that the, uh, Sarti advised me, it was uh, we have to reach out the programs with time, which I didn't do the in the previous season. I didn't. Because I, I didn't know. So I reached out to the programs and he, uh, I remember the, the the people when we talk in the in SARTI, they guide you how, when, you, when you have to write the emails, uh, what to write in the emails and um, how often you have to do it. So I got one of the, my interviews uh, through the reach out. So it was helping, that helped me a lot. The third thing, uh, you know, you have to be realistic. For all graduates, um, we, I, I was suspected uh, that I didn't gonna have uh, many interviews, right? So, uh, but my goal for for me, it was just get any uh, match and practicing here. Because for all graduates, we've been practicing in our countries. So we probably, we have Maybe we do, but probably we, many of us, we don't going to do any uh, fellowship or any, any other of other So what we want is to practice in here in the United States. So our goal is to match. So I was looking for, uh, uh programs that, uh, that have resonance similar to me. Uh, Sarti helped me to how to reach uh, to research the programs, programs that have uh, residents similar to me, programs that they don't require uh, recent graduated, or uh, programs that works in rural areas, for example, because I know I'm gonna be uh, successful in that uh, that application. So I did a research for the programs I'm gonna apply. I applied to 97 programs. It wasn't too much because I knew it. And, uh, yeah, I received all the guides and, um, the other things that, uh, I was, uh, um, the interviews you must, because you know that you're going to have, um, just a few interviews when you get it, you must to be prepared for that. And I remember the previous season, I didn't prepare too much for the interviews. I didn't prepare the questions in a better way, but, uh, because you have, you, you offer practicing interviews that help me to be prepared for the interview. I practice the questions, the, the doctor that, that, uh, uh, did the mock interview with me. She helped me the way I speak, the way she, I remember she told me, I was like, you know, your biggest strength is your, uh, experience. You must talk about your experience. And that's what I did when I got my interview in Russia university, they didn't ask me, okay, tell me about your experience. You must do, just show up, just show that, uh, when you talk about it. 
they ask me, okay, why are you apply here? Oh, because I have experience in this and community. And I start to talk, uh, I, well, I remember my first experience uh, working with the community and just talk, talk about your experience that is going to help you a lot. So it's the guidance, it's the guidance. It's not only applications, it's not only documents, it's not only uh, pass the test, it's the strategies that it fits on you. And that's the guidance, really valuable guidance that you provide. That's why I overcome because you cannot change the years of graduation. You cannot change the scores. They are a sell down. So the research of the programs, the application of just a specific programs and be prepared because you're going to have maybe two, I, I only have two interviews, but you only need one good interview to match. And the preparation for that interview, I find it uh, really helpful for you. I'm so happy. <laughs> Thank you very much, Elsa, for this comprehensive uh, discussion. Uh, as we wrap up, uh, if you were to give some top tips to the students applying in this season, you know, what would those two or three tips would be? So the first things I would uh, recommend is uh, just don't give up, keep going. Not because you fail, it means that your life ended. No, you should keep going. I remember I heard people that applying four or five times. Okay. But if you dream, you should keep going. So that's the first, the thing is that you have to do it. The second thing, the second tip I would say is be realistic. Like I was saying, don't look for programs, biggest programs or programs with, uh, associated with university because we are all graduated and that, that type of program, they're looking for a just recent graduates. Our goal is be able to practice in, in the United States. That's our goal. And for that, we have to do a residency. It doesn't matter where it's going to be. So don't uh, look for biggest program. You can look for programs in the rural areas. It's going to be just three years, and then you're going to be able to practice in anywhere in the United States. The other tips, you must take the step three. Step three is, is a must. It doesn't matter how high, how good are your scores. You must take it step three because they expect that for us. Okay. And the last tip is look for help. In my case, you help me a lot because you know how to play the game. As I say, it's not only apply uh, with documents and tests. Uh, it's um, a guidance, the guidance that you provide. So reach out the programs. You have to do your homework, search in the programs. That takes time. That takes a lot of time to search the programs. Uh, how are the residents? How are the the faculties to what the programs looking for? That takes, I remember I, I, I spent hours, hours and days doing the research. So you have to do your work and you should start as soon as possible because it takes a lot of time. So that will be my tips. Thank you very much, Elsa. This is very, very appreciated, very inspiring, very motivating. I mean, you have done it in spite of all the odds. So congratulations again and good luck uh, for your uh, new phase of life. Thank you. Thank you so much, Pawan. I have no words to say thank you because the guy that you provide me uh, placed me in, in this in this situation now and I'm really, really happy. And I know it's this... Uh, the work that you do is going to help to a lot of other students to be successful. Thank you. And good luck. Thank you. Thank you, Pawan. Bye. Mm -hmm.